Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boys, G Ghetto Agafa, aka Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing video. And today we're going to be unboxing this puppy right here, the Munkin or Monkin, M O K I N, fast charging power bank right here. Look at this. Compact, but it's kind of heavy in this box. Compact, but heavy. So before we get into the into the eagle eye view, let me get, go ahead and give you the price and the specs. Now the price right now is going for $39.99. And this is a 65 watt um, power bank. Basically, it can charge up a lot more than the normal power bank, which is probably 22, 25 to 30 watts. This right here can actually, it's supposed to be able to charge up um, a small laptop and um, I guess more power hungry devices. So um, let's get to the specs real quick. It's the Munkin, M-O-K-I-N, 65 watt power bank built in USB-C and iOS cables. Built in cables, I do like that. Four outputs, a PD 3.0 fast charging portable battery pack with smart digital display, USB-C charger for MacBook, MacBook Pro Air, iPad, I mean iPhone 15, 14, 13 series, iPad, and Samsung. And again, this will set you back $39.99. So before we get to the Eagle Eye View, do me a favor, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll say it one more time, please like, share, and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. So the more thumbs up, we get the deeper in the YouTube algorithm we go. And I saw you haven't seen me for about two weeks or maybe two and a half weeks because life has been life in. So without further ado, let's get to the Eagle Eye View. Welcome to the Eagle Eye View. And this is how it looks in the package. Now, one thing I will tell you guys, I'm kind of um, shaking my head at. Now, they said the battery capacity is 4,600 milli, mil, uh, milli hours. Um, but in the when I looked online, it says 18,000, 18,600, 18,400. So I'm going to go what it says right there. Is the capacity is a 4,600 million hours. Okay, so this is how it look. So all the stuff you need, if you want to read it, you can. We'll go, so let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. I'm gonna use this as our unboxing life today, guys. Nothing else in here. All right, so this is never throw this away. As you can see, 65 watt fast charging power bank. The guy never throw that away. Let's get to. There's nothing else in the box. There we go. That's how it looks, guys. It's kind of solid too. Guys, this is how she looks. I put the fingerprints already on here. This is how she looks. We're gonna go ahead and take a tour. Everything you need. But we have the iPhone, USB C. And it goes up here. So it goes in the back of here. That's pretty good. Lightning, and it tells you right there lightning cable output, and it says type C. So you got that right there. So I do like it that it comes with its own, so you don't have to carry nothing else with it. On top, you see you have input and output, A output, and you have on. So we're going to hit that button on, and it's already at 72%. So let me let you see how it looks compared to some other ones, some other power banks I have. Before we start get looking at the size comparison, as you can already tell, I'm going I'm to give you, because each one of these ports are a different wattage. This port right here is 65 watt. This port right here says it's, it's 60 watt. The USB-C 
is 60 watt and the lightning cable for iPhone is only 12 watts. So 65, 60, 60, 12. So that's how that goes. So you'll know, you know, what is the maximum wattage you can get output from each one of these right here. So this is how it looks, guys, next to some other stuff. So as you can see, you can tell this one is much smaller. Now, the reason now normally the higher wattage you go, I mean you can charge up um like bigger items, maybe like a um laptop, it says uh, um MacBook Pro, you know, things of that nature. You, this is 22.5 watt, which you're not gonna be able to uh, no charge up, nothing like that. And this right here, I'm 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 thinking is 18 watt. So you can see that. This one is going to have a greater output as far as power. And you can see how small it is compared to everything else. So I like that it's portable, but yet powerful. You can see, look how, look how small it is. Now, it's still heavy, still heavy. If you threw this at somebody, you could knock them out cold. So I'm just letting you know you could do that. So, but other than that, that's how it goes. So let's go ahead and get to some of the charging, charging up some stuff. All right, everybody. Let's go ahead. We're going to charge this up first. See how it looks when it's charging. And there it goes. That's how it looks when it's charging up. Let you know. So it lets you know what type of charge you get. Look at that. That's pretty deep. That's pretty nice. How many voltage you're getting. So let's try something different. All right, you see, I got this right here, Samsung charger, fast charger. Let's see how that looks. Plug it in. So there it go. So it tells you. So it gives you the voltage of all the charge that was coming in. I like that, guys. All right, let's try one more thing. All right, everybody. I got the 65 watt charger right here. Let's see, because it's, it's fast charging capable. Put it in. There you go. Let's see what it says. It says 20 watts. All right. So I'm wondering if it's downgrading it, it can only charge it that fast. But there it go. It's charging up. So each one was different. That cool. I like that, guys. So we can see that's how it is charging up. You hit the power button and it'll display how many, how much percentage you have left. So let's go, let's start charging up some stuff. So what we're going to use, we're going to use these first. And we're going to go ahead and charge up this first. Let's see how that looks. And there you go. It says charging. Let's do that one more time. Says charge. Okay. I like that. That works. Let's see what this says, guys. Charging rapidly. You can see that. Let's do that one more time. Charging rapidly. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we did that. Now these we see that these two work. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and try this right here. And again, this is for the iPhone. See, it's charged. So it charges pretty good. And then what we're going to do, we're going to get a USB-C, the USB-C. We're going to use it right here. See how this go. Charging rapidly. See, let's try it one more time. Charging rapidly. There we go, guys. So, got those out the way. So, let's see how it does on my tablet. This baby right here. So, we're just going to use the USB this right here, USB-C, USB-C. 
See how that goes? There you go. Let's see what it says. So it's charging. Let's see how it. There we go. So it's rapidly charged. You can see that the symbol right there. Rapidly charging right there. So we take that off. So let's go ahead and use the built in USB C. There we go. There we go. So it's still rapidly charged. You can see that right there. So it's rapidly charged. So it works on my tablets. It works on your phones. So let me grab and see how it works on a computer. If I got a computer that's able to be charged through the USB-C port. Be right back, guys. All right, we're back. This is my Alienware laptop, gaming laptop. And what you have to make sure, guys, because this is what I had to find out, that you have to have a port, a USB-C port with the charging symbol and the Thunderbolt in order to be able to charge up your device from what I'm gathering. Like this one has... You could charge on that one too. It has a charging port. So it has to have the charging port or the Thunderbolt, either one, but this one has both of them on there. And the thing I found out, guys, is that it's not going to tell you that it's literally charging up. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to turn it on, and then I'm going to plug it up so you can see that it will charge it up now. If you turn your laptop off, it'll charge it up, how be it slowly but you will still you know, be able to charge up your laptop. But when it's on, it's not going to be able to keep up with the um, the charge that's needed to keep it running um, without it drawing from the battery. So um, because this thing takes a, a very, very large power pack, power, um, the wall plug to keep it you know, charged up and running at the same time. So here we go. All right, guys, we're about five times zoomed in, so you can at least see the um battery that's it right here so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and charge it up see if it if it if you can see it we're going to use the port there we go so as you can see it is charging see the charging symbol right there okay and it will tell you, it'll be it'll, it'll tell you low charge. So basically, you can't run, play the, use the laptop and use this at the same time, especially if you're, um, I guess playing games or but you know, but it was something low power. You could you could see that it is it is charging. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna see if we can use just the. 60 char watt charge from the wire that comes with it. This one right here, guys. And the answer is no. Well, yeah, it may take a minute, but there you go. So between 60 and 65 watt. It'll be, and I'll tell you again, you know, so basically it's not meant for you to use the battery pack while gaming. Now you might be able to use the battery pack while you're doing minimal things, turn down the, um, turn down the um, screen brightness, put it on battery saver mode, things of that nature, but it does work. It's powerful enough to charge um, your laptop now, like I said, it's not going to give you, you know, but it ain't going to enable you to um, play all your games and stuff on it. But it would allow you to at least, once you finish using it, be able to charge it up. Um, and this is not going to charge it up to full. It's not, but it'll give you a nice charge while it's in your bag or while it's just sitting out so you can want to go 
So you can still use your laptop if you have to use it for work or anything like that. So let's get to the regular view, give you my final thoughts, and giving the Mookin 65 watt um, fast charger a grade. Yo, 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 I'm back, everybody, with my final thoughts and giving the Mookin 65 watt fast charging power bank a grade. Now, my thoughts on it before we get to the grades, the grade, I like it. Because um, normally, if you're looking for anything, a 65 watts or higher, you're going to pay a, a more premium price. Um, some of the higher ones, 100 watts, um, 200 watts can go like maybe 100, 200 for a decent power bank. But is the wattage output is such great, is so much more, sorry guys, that you're able to, you know, charge up, you know, bigger and more um, power hungry items that you might have, like maybe a gaming laptop, maybe um, certain laptops that need a little bit more power than a 22.5 watts. And normally you'll get a 22.5 watts, you can find it for a decent price. But as far as a 65 watt, it's kind of hard to find that at a really, really, really decent price. So $39.99 for this really is a steal, guys, because this here can charge up everything i like the fact that it comes with its own charging port now kind of sad and and i'm not a big apple fan i do have an iphone that my daughter gave me so i could just try out um different things so we do tests you know stuff like that we can use that but as far as you know the thunderbolt only being 12 watts i was kind of like, oh, I, I guess you know but this right here is 60 watts um and the um USB-C um, output input is 60 watt. So I really do like this guy. I love the fact that you see what's coming in and lets you know how many watts is coming in and lets you know how many watts is just going out. So I do like that. Um, I don't really see a downfall to, downfall to that. Sorry guys, something fell to this. Um, other, that, other than that when I looked on the page on Amazon it said 18,400 milli hours but then when I look on the box it says I think 4,600 milliamp hours so I think that the, the box is accurate and the description and the actual um, Amazon page is wrong and I wish they would fix that because that's misleading unless I'm reading it wrong but I don't think I'm reading it wrong so guys overall I like this portable now it is heavy like i said and, you know you can you can, you can you can knock somebody out with this um it's, it's kind of heavy now you know this is a little heavier but this is heavy it's not it's not light but it's not too heavy but it's got some it's got a little heft to it but other than that guys for this 65 watt for 39.99 i'm gonna give this puppy an a right here i'm gonna give it an a it does everything supposed to do you saw it you put it through its paces and it passed with flying colors. And so I'm going to give it an A. Guys, before we get out of here, please do me a favor. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to say that one more time. Please like, share, and subscribe so we can grow this, this unboxing community. I want to thank my new and current, current and new subscribers for still rocking with your boy. Like I said, I'm sorry for not dropping a video in about two and a half weeks, but life has been lifing and I had to take care of some things. Plus I was feeling a little under the weather. So I'm back, you know, better than ever. So please also give me a thumbs up. So the, the more thumbs up I get, the more deeper the YouTube, these videos go and the more people can see the content. And again, this is your boy, the ghettoographer, AKA Pastor Tech, thanking you for rocking out with me on another unboxing journey. Guys, we got some more unboxings coming this week so please hit that notification icon bell icon the notification thing down there so you'll be notified anytime we drop a brand new video you have a good day peace out